So you're you're able to soak in information, integrate it, be, quickly take notes. Generally, I think I'm pretty good at that. Yeah. What like, what uh you do this a lot when you stream? You're typing stuff. Is there a system in that note taking? And what note? What do you use for note taking? Um, Does it matter? I use a Notepad, <laughs> like the, Notepad, the original EXE Notepad. Yep, Notepad. EXE, not the plus plus. Not. Is there genius to the madness behind that, or you just don't give a shit? No, I mean like. It, it's going to depend on the style of conversation. If I'm with somebody that is very meticulously organized their thoughts and they're a, uh, find a better word here for rambler, you can edit that in, better word for rambler, yeah. somebody that talks a lot and a lot, I'll start like taking notes, bullet points, like this, 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 because um, there's a style of conversation where I say seven or eight different things. And then when you go to respond to everything I said, I cut you off immediately and we argue that point. Yeah. But if somebody's going to do that, you're just like, well, hold on, you just said these eight things, I'm going to respond to every single one. I've written them all down. And then you can go, if you want to go point by point, we can, but you just said all this and I wrote it down. So now we're going to go. So what are you actually writing down? Like a couple of words per point they left Honestly, like th there are very few unique conversations in politics. Like a lot of them are kind of retreading old ground. So if we're having a debate on abortion, um, somebody might say like, oh, well, I believe this thing about viability and I believe this thing about, you know, when they're a fetus versus a human. And I'll just write down like those points so that when I go to respond, I kind of have like a, like note cards, like a guiding thing there to keep me centered on my response. Political discourse is a kind of tree you're walking down. And I got it. And yeah. you're like taking- more. Just to keep my focus guided. So I'm not like, running off on a weird tangent or responding to something I didn't say or something, yeah. What about like doing research? It's just, is there a system to your note-taking? Because mentally you seem to be one of the most organized people I've listened to. So is there, is it in your mind or is there a system that's on paper? A little of both. I feel like the human mind is a beautiful thing if you have interest in an area. Uh, so the, like what I'll tell people is, let's say there's like a totally new topic that I'm researching. I don't know anything. And I've, I'll do a couple of these on stream. I think they're boring, but people watch it. I might open a Wikipedia article and I'll read and I hit something I don't know. And then I open the next Wikipedia article and I'll read into, and then I might have like seven tabs open and I'll read and I'll read and I'll read. Um, and I'll read a ton of stuff, maybe for an hour, two, three, four hours of stuff. And then by the end, you know, someone in chat will ask me like, do you even remember like this particular thing? And I'll say, not really, no, not too much. But what happens is, is, as long as you've seen it once, what will happen is like the next day, the day after, we'll read something else and we'll be like, oh, I remember that thing from this thing. I remember like vaguely that. And then if you see it like a third time, you're like, oh, this makes sense because especially when it comes to, oh, here's like a little trick on, on stuff. If you're ever reading any news and there's a place that pops up, always look at it on a map because so much of history is like on a map. It's so important to like know the geography. It makes things make so much more sense. Um, but yeah, once I, once I start to see stuff over and over again, just because I've like read it a few times, stuff will start to kind of connect in my mind and I'm like, oh yeah, well, this makes sense. Of course, these people believe this It's because of this, or of course, like this happened here. It's because, you know, that happened there. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a lot of that. If there's like a topic that I'm doing specific research for. Um, so like uh, vaccine related stuff is a big one. Uh, the Ukrainian Russian conflict is a big one. That I'll break out a note. Um, I'll probably get like a Google doc and I'll just start like writing like an outline of kind of the rough points of everything just to organize my thoughts around different topics. Yeah.